Hello people, welcome back to follow that. So, the stone hatchet. You want to get one of these and go on a rampage. They are great fun. So, this is how you do it. So you have to go to Maud's house and then when you get nearby, you get a message from her saying that you want to do some bounty hunting. Obviously, that's not when you start. And I found it only in a public session did I actually get the follow-up emails. I waited for ages in an invite only and I didn't get the follow-up emails. While you're here, collect the action figure. There you go. So, it generally, it, it took me about a quarter of an hour or so until I got an email from her. So, if you're starting a new session, you can go back and re-trigger it. So, I think it's another GTA day, but anyway. So there I was, public session, invite only, didn't work for me. I don't know, it might work for you, I don't know. Anyway, after about 15 minutes, then I got the email, and this is where the missions start. And there are five that you have to do to get your stone hatchet and collect a little bit of money and RP along the way. So, the first guy, number one, and helpfully, you get a nice little location area on the map that you have to go and find so let's go and do five of those I think the location yeah I'm pretty sure the locations do vary there's a set of them but anyway I'll show you where I found the various people for me this guy was inside and then generally they will try and fight you they're not great at fighting so you have to <laughs> Options one just give him a, a few blows. Oh, yeah, he's armed. He's got what's he got a hammer or something Enough blows, but not too many. There you go So he's now surrendered and they will follow you Throughout the map. There we go So you just walk and they don't run away even if you run they run after you anyway So let's show so go back to Maud's drive into the yellow circle and then we're good. So that is number one. Done. Okay. Brilliant. Now, on to the second one. So again, it took, took me about 10 minutes more until I got the second one. So I got 10k for delivering the bounty target unharmed. Bounty target was captured. And I will show you whams if you decide to take them out straight away. So there we go. So about 10 minutes later, I then got second email from Maud, and it is the same deal. So here we go. Number two, let's see the mugshot. Second bounty target. So it's this woman here. Again, let's go into the circle, explore all the way around until we find them. There we go. Just popped up, see that little red marker? Eventually I found her. Sometimes you have to go in and out of buildings and they're in awkward places, but the area is not that big, so you will get there eventually. In fact, I went up onto that building looking around and then there she was, she running away. Running away, but even when they run away, that dot stays in place, so you're basically good. And doesn't look like she's armed, so let's just give her a little gentle friendly tap. There we go, that did it. And thankfully it didn't kill her, so there we go, she's gonna jump on the bike. Come on. No. Just stood there. I think you have to get off and then get get into your vehicle to actually persuade them to go with you. There we go. Right. And that is number two in the bag. Look at that. <laughs> I like that finish. I am wondering what was gonna happen if I just jumped off the bike at the last minute. There you go. Even the cutscene adjusted for it. Okay, so again, about 10 minutes later, we've got number three. This guy here, and again, he's in a different location. So let us go and collect this guy right at the top of the map. You do the full length of the map in these ones. But this one, I'm gonna show you what happens if you just decide to take them out. So remember, it was 10K. So here, no mercy. I've been playing this a long time. Oh, he's got, had a baseball bat. You didn't get a chance to get it out. So this one, you get 5k if you take them out before, instead of delivering them back to Maud. 5k versus 10k that you get if you capture them and take them back. And bear in mind, we're in a public lobby. There's a fair chance you can be griefed. 
I think since the updates they made with invite only lobbies, griefing seems to have gone down a bit, but I'm sure I will rue that comment. <laughs> next, next, next lobby I get into, I always have a horrific time with hackers. That's a joy of playing on PC. There you go. Okay, so we're away. Number four, this one took me ages. I had to sort of go in and out of these buildings. It seemed quite a small space. So there we go, but that red dot has spawned in. So the guy is up here somewhere. Let's have a look. He's probably just waiting on that building. There we go. Upstairs. Right, we've got him. So what's this guy going to do? Die, yep, he's up for a fight. Okay, so the knife, one hit with the knife or the weapon. That's crazy. And then he's good. So jump on the back and then let's jump off again. Lost. <laughs> Not quite as good as the other one. <laughs> okay, all right, we are now making good progress towards our stone hatchet. So again, 10 minutes or so later after this it is our next target. Let's see where we go this time. We're holding more than $5,000. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so here we go. Let's have a look at the mug shock for this one. The only name left. There we go, Sister Vagos. So we will go and get him. So this is our fifth. And for this one, I will show you what happens if you fail. So if you've done four, obviously you need to get five for the stone hatchet. But what happens if you fail? So here he is, somewhere. Yeah, there we go. And what's he going to do? He looks angry. He's up for the fight. I just kicked me. Bad idea. Okay. I will switch. <laughs> what the hell? Soon calm down with me. Right, get on the bike. So with this guy, I thought, I want to see what happens if you fail, if they get away. So let's go to Fort San Cudio and see if we can get him in a jet. So here we are. Fort San Cudio. And let's see if he will get in a jet with me. So unfortunately, there's only one seat, which I think you will quickly realize means that he's just going to stand there and even though I have a hanger so I don't get the wanted stars when I go in if you jump in a jet you do so now we're in big trouble now look I've got all the army <laughs> on my case oh they shot him off the back <laughs> no I was hoping to get away and then oh dear now we're in big trouble all right so my character got wasted so you'll then see a message the bounty target got away so even though he was being shot at by the army he somehow got away so thankfully if you fail it you get another bounty offer so this is my sixth so you get another bounty offer for this guy so you can do it again which is good news it would be terrible to have just done four and not be able to get my stone hatchet having had to wait for ages in invite a lot only lobbies waiting to see what was going to happen with mods Anyway, here's our guy, and he will be our fifth capture. Right, is he still up for the fight? Oh, he's got hammer. There you go. So it looks like they're, I think, are they all armed? Most of them, but I think that woman was armed, was she? Right, so here we go. For this one, I thought, let's be creative and combine some of these. So, this plane has got multiple seats, or at least two. So we managed to persuade him to get into there. And I thought, let's do this in style. So I decided to bail out and see what will happen. Does that mean I fail? Or is that one of the best ways <laughs> to take him out? There we go. One, two, bang. There you go. The bounty target was killed. So job done in style. 5k versus 10k. It's not a big deal. Wait till you see how much you get. Fully unlocking the stone hatchet right so I've done my five now you get a message saying that there is a secret stash which now appears on the map and this is where we get our stone hatchets if we have a look so over here by the altruists village or camp here we go there it is you see that stone chest on there by the marker trigger the little cutscene, open the chest, and we have got it. Finally, our reward 
the stone hatchet, the unique melee weapon that will let us do those beautiful rampages. So I'll show a bit of those at the end. Treasure found. You now own the stone hatchet. Okay, brilliant. So to fully unlock it and get the rampage, what you have to do is get, as it says, get 25 kills with it. But even, so that's not entirely true. So you will get the rampage straight away, but you won't get the full reward, which is 250k. So let's start it off. So these guys are always up for a fight. And to trigger it with your first kill, that's, if you see the, on the little health mark, that yellow indicator, I've just got those icons all over it, that yellow indicator shows you the length of time left that you have for your rampage, kind of Trevor rampage state. And with each kill that you make, that'll, that'll restore it. But you see there, didn't make a stone hatchet kill at the time, so it's gone back down, now I'm in big trouble. There we go, bang. So as long as you keep, keep wasting people with it, then you will stay in the red zone, which is great. This makes it such a great weapon. So let's show you what happens when you get to your 25 kills. We have all these unfortunate people who are hanging around when there is a crazy man with a stone hatchet here. Okay, so if you watch again, watch that little yellow indicator. We'll see if I can keep it going. Thanks, there's lots of NPCs here. So I'm hoping to get my full 25s. Right, so I've done a few and this is great for taking on the cops, because your health doesn't go down when you're in this rampage state. Well, it goes down very, very slowly. So we can keep having a big battle with cops. Just gotta to get to them in time before that yellow marker runs out. And thankfully the cops will group around you. They don't run away. There we go, hit 25. Perfect, stone hatchet challenge is complete. And for this, get a whopping 250k, so it's well worth it. There you go, 250k, plus the fun of unlocking this weapon. And there you go, with the cops, I think the cops actually is almost the best weapon for taking them on, because it just keeps respawning in terms of that yellow indicator. And now I can get away, perfect. Ultimate insults cops, I'll take one of their cars and I'll call Lester get rid of the stars and that's it job done so we now have the stone hatchet it took a while but it was worth it that was quite fun and good luck to you doing it any questions let me know